one of the things that I told a, a good friend of mine when she announced she was pregnant was, your life is going to change forever. And this is really true. I mean, all of us who have been parents or um, caregivers know that, the, that once a child gets into your life, um, it truly changes the dynamic. Having an exceptional child will forever change a family's dynamic in a much more complicated way. And that impact will be both subtle and obvious. That impact will be felt by the immediate family as well as the extended family. I've been doing advocacy now, as I said, for about 35 years, and one of the most difficult things to, uh, to work with and deal with parents particularly of parents who have children on the spectrum uh, who are severely uh, involved, is the isolation that parents feel. And obviously, as we just learned from the presentation before, it's not just the parent who feels isolated, it's also the child. So there's a double sense of isolation. Many parents um, are totally ostracized from their immediate families parents, grandparents, uh, uncles, aunts, and again, it just makes it that much more complicated to deal with all the issues that we have to face. Also, again, the impact of a child with exceptionalities is rarely neutral. Uh, it affects us in every way, relationships, uh, finances, job choices, whether families will stay together. Again, um, over the years I've seen Countless of families break up uh, because of the stressors that uh, are there on a daily basis. One of the things that I try to explain to my students, when one of them made a comment which I, I found interesting was, well, parents with children with disabilities, um, they let their kids get away with everything and anything they want to do. And I thought about it and I thought, well, no, not really. I think one of the things we learn is a coping mechanism. If we try to deal with and resolve every single issue that comes up every single day, we'd lose our sanity. You need to be understand that parents who have children with special needs sometimes need to be able to cope, and the way that we cope is by allowing things to happen. If we didn't, we wouldn't be able to hold it together.